This is an instructional video that will teach you how to identify different species of turf grass. Turf grass identification is based on five distinctive characteristics, which are vernation, sheath, ligule, oracle, and the leaf blade. Let's start with vernation. Vernation is found at the youngest leaf blade in the shoot, where the sheath is either rolled or folded. This is the most important feature to ID correctly. The next characteristic to ID is the sheath. The sheath is the tube-like basal portion of the leaf that encloses the stem. It can be open, closed, or split overlapping. The color of the sheath at the base of the plant where it meets the soil is the most useful to ID. The next characteristic to ID is the ligule. The ligule is the membranous appendage on the upper side of the leaf, at the junction of the leaf and blade. There are many types and shapes of ligules and can also be absent. The next characteristic to ID is the oracle. The oracles are claw-like appendages occurring in pairs at the base of the leaf blade. The oracles can be clasping, short, or absent. The final characteristic to ID is the leaf blade. The leaf blade can be parallel or not. The blade tip can be sharp, acute, or boat shaped. You should also make note of the color and how smooth the leaf blade feels. These are the key ID characteristics for eight common species of turf grass. It is important to note that for some species, you do not need to use all of the ID characteristics. For example, perennial ryegrass is the only species of grass in which the vernation is folded and oracles are present. For an example of how to ID a turf grass, we will use a vegetative ID key to walk through the process with annual bluegrass. The first step on the ID key is to determine vernation. By rolling the sheath of annual bluegrass between your fingers, you should be able to feel that it doesn't roll smooth. This should tell you that the vernation is folded. If it was rolled, it would feel like you are rolling a straw between your fingers. The next step is to determine if oracles are present. Because there is no oracles, we go to BB. Oracles are absent, so we move down one line. Creeping stolons are absent, so we move down to CC. Weak stolons may be present, so we move down one line. The blades are wide, so we move down to DD. The blades are smooth with a distinct midrib, so we move down one line. Rhizomes are absent, so we move down one line. There is a tall and white ligule. The leaves are usually light apple green and parallel sided blades.
There's often bumps or cross crinkling on the leaves. Flowers are often present, and in this case, seeds. Using the ID key and features of the grass, we are able to identify this as annual bluegrass, or as the Latins say, poa annua. By using this ID key and features of grass, you should be able to ID common species of turf grass. I am Rebecca Gratzky and I approve this message. I'm Dono, no. and I approve this message. I'm Pat Tracy, and I approve this message. I'm Evan Carr, and I approve this message. Using the ID key and features of the grass, we are able to ID this as annual bluegrass, or as the Latins say, poet. I'm. <laughs> I'm <laughs> B. What's that word again? Uh.